Hello, my name is Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to mix a song in Reaper. This is the start of a brand new series that I'm going to do. It's going to be about eight videos long, and I'm going to show you what I do when I go to mix a song. Now I'll have a bunch of links to videos and sites in the description below. Plus I'll have cards flying out on the screen when certain things pop up that if you haven't already seen it, you can go and watch them. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to, we're, well, we're working on that Robert John and the Rex song, Good Lovin'. So what I do is um, before I do anything, everything is at zero. Before I even touch a plug in, I'm going to get my balances, my uh, volume and panning done. So, first thing that I tend to do is uh, I will mute all of the uh, drum samples and all, almost all of the DI tracks <clears throat> and any FX tracks because then I'll show you how I do those. But I went to go to make this video the other day and I got completely lost with all the muted tracks. So I'm going to open up my track manager. And when I go to mute them, I'm going to hide them so I don't have to see them and they won't distract me anymore. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that. And I'm also going to take left and right tracks and turn them into stereo tracks. And I'll have a link down below if you did to that video that I made. So I'm going to try to do this with minimal edits. because so I'll show you how I do this in real time. So we're going to go ahead and start muting samples. just so I can um, clean the track up some more. And when I go to do the other videos for the drums, which will should be the second one that I do, I will bring the samples back in on a case-by-case -case basis just to see if they they're, I really need them or not. I, I like to see what I can get out of the actual live kit first. So many samples. I'm going to leave the overheads left and right for right now until I go and do the drums. And I'm going to leave these rooms alone. Yeah, I'm going to leave both those rooms alone. This one I'm going to click double click in the track and double click in the next track below it and I'm going to go to my custom action and turn it into a stereo track and I can delete this empty one here and I'll do the same thing with these 480L tracks I'll leave those alone. And I'm going to find the ones that are muted. I'm going to make this bigger because I need to be able to see everything. And we're going to hide them. All the muted ones are going to get hidden. You can see that with the M button, or the, M, the letter M over here in the column. Those are all my muted tracks. So I'm just going to hide them from the control panel and the mixer panel. Go on to the next one. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the base DI where it is. I'm not going to hide that one. I'm going to start mute the DI tracks on the guitars. Now 
going to go and find them down here and hide them as well. Okay. Get that out of the way. I'm going to turn all my keys into stereo tracks. And then all the vocal effects that were printed that come with these tracks, which, by the way, they are courtesy of Produce Like a Pro. Warren Hewitt gave me permission to do this on, on my channel, and so thank you for letting me do that. Seeing as it was requested by one of my subscribers, I figured I've already started with this track on a previous video. Might as well just go all the rest of the way with it. It's going to mute all these H3000s and Echoplexes and Echo Plates because I do my own vocal thickening. And I'll show you how to do that when we get to the video with the vocals. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hide all these. Way. And let me check these background vocals. And there's nothing, nothing on them. So we're ready to go. I'm going to close this box right here. Before I do anything, I'm going to select all my buses except for the mix bus. And I'm going to turn the volume down about 3 dB. Just so it's not blasting my ears and it's not blasting yours. And it only took the volume down on the buses. It didn't touch any of the other tracks because they're still at zero. Okay, so we're going to go back to the top. Make sure we're at the beginning. And I'm going to press play and start balancing the track. <laughs>
take my money got all the way through it <laughs> got to the background vocals um so i'll just continue to pan these background vocals away from each other Let me make sure where this one is 12 go 20 whoops it's too far and I'll, I'll make extra decisions on these when i get to them this is right now i'm just trying to get them away from everything from being in the center because that that's where the kick and the snare and the bass guitar live and the vocals. So I want to get all the background vocals away, like spread out further than, than say the lead vocals. And I'm gonna leave those single ones alone for right now. Let me see, where was I at? 21, go, 30. This is just a rough balance just to get everything started. So I'm just panning, I'm gonna continue to pan the background vocals 10% away from each other. There are a lot of background vocals. If my panning would stop moving, there's got to be a way to make this. Okay, that's going the wrong way. There we go. And that's it. That's all it is. I know there are some things that are still a little too loud. All I did was get the panning. And I will go back when I go and do the individual uh, sections to uh, get the volumes better. And everything, when you go and start mixing a song, you want to take it in little sections. You don't want to do the whole thing all at once. You will frustrate yourself to no end. Get everything set. and Everything can be moved around. Um, volume wise when you start adding in more instruments and getting all the tracks set up and you can change stuff and we'll get into tweaking mixes volume automation uh, EQ compression uh, reverbs and delays basically this is just a beginning thing just get your rough balances to begin with now I didn't do volume very much except for turning all the buses down so didn't sound too terrible, but it, I, I'm going to end up changing it later on. And that's all there is in this one. So I uh, hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.